The court released this police body cam footage of the attack on Paul Pelosi. I'll show you the full video. That and more news coming up on Sinkton. Hey everyone, the footage is out. The San Francisco Superior Court has released the police body cam video of the attack on Paul Pelosi, the husband of former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. You may recall the incident happened October of last year. Suspect David DePap broke into the couple's residence in San Francisco in the middle of the night and attacked Mr. Pelosi with a hammer, knocking him unconscious. Police were there when it happened. Mr. Pelosi's 911 call was also released. I'm going to play for you a part of that call and then the body cam footage in full. I warn you, the video is graphic and may be hard to watch. Uh, he thinks everything's good. Uh, I, I've got a problem, but he thinks everything's good. Zero, uh, okay. Call us back if you change your mind. No, no, no. This, this gentleman just uh, came into the house uh, and he wants to wait here for my wife to come home. Zero, two, and so, uh, four, and anyway, he's do, you know, phone do you know who the person is? No, I don't know who he is. He, he, uh, uh, he has this, he told me, he told me not to, uh, he told me not to do anything. What is your address, sir? Uh, it's zero, two, twenty, five, and zero, what is your name? Uh, my name is Paul Pelosi. Friday, anyway, this, this gentleman says that uh, he thinks everything ought to, you know, he, he told me to put the phone down and uh, just do what he said. Okay? Okay, who, what's the gentleman's name? I don't know. What's that? My name's David. Da the name is David. Yeah. Yeah, it's literally sitting there. Hi. Hey guys. How you doing? How are you? What's going on, man? Everything's good. Hi. Drop the hammer. Um, nope. Hey, 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 hey. What is Mark, going on right now? I'm not getting any answer on call. Bro! Oh, oh, oh. 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 Hey, we're working Everson, back up, code 3. Code 3, back up at 26. You man! Unit code 3, for 14 hours. Hour 14, hour 10, medics code 3 as well. You got it? The Capitol Police also released surveillance footage of DePap walking up to the home and breaking in. You can watch that video and you can listen to the entire 911 call on NBCBayArea.com. Shifting gears completely, sports are taking over the Bay Area this weekend. We've got the U.S. Figure Skating Championships that have been going on at the SAP Center in San Jose all week long. Hosts Tara Lipinski and Johnny Weir visited our NBC Bay Area studios and chatted with our Raj Mathai. You can check out that interview on our app, available on Apple, TV, Roku, and Amazon Fire. We also talked to Sunnyvale's very own Brian Boitano there at the Shark Tank. Take a listen. San Jose has some of the most knowledgeable audiences, so everybody really likes skating here, performing here, because um, they've just seen so many skaters come through in their history. The championships run through Sunday. Here's when and how you can watch. Well, we've also got that pretty big football game happening this weekend. I put on my jersey to start getting hyped up. The 49ers are facing the Philadelphia Eagles for the NFC Championship. They're playing out in Philly. I chatted with our Telemundo 48 sports anchor, Carlos Justis, who's also an analyst for the Niners, by the way, and asked him what it'll take for the team to get that W. Here's what he told me. 
What do you think it's going to take for the 49ers to take that W this Sunday? You, you have to play a perfect game oh. on, on all on all three three phases of, of the game. Um, on offense, you can't give the ball away. There's going to be a lot of pressure again on Brock Purdy. I mean, he already lived it against against Dallas last last week, where they did sack him a couple of times. But the best thing on the on the rookie quarterback was the fact that he was he never gave the ball away. Mm -hmm. There was not an interception. There was not a fumble. So they have to take care of the ball. That's the first thing in, in offense. And then on defense, you got to make a count because if you give these offense a couple more seconds, and that could happen easily because Jalen Hurts is a, is a quarterback that is very mobile. He can get out of the pocket. If you let him have those extra seconds, he's going to cash in too. And also, sometimes, and this is something that happened to the Niners often, especially in the games, for example, against the Kansas City Chiefs, if you put too much pressure with a lot of people coming into the box, mm -hmm. Jalen Hurts is able to get that run and add 15, 20 yards just on his own legs. So you have to be very careful that when you're on that man coverage, you don't give that space for the quarterback to run and hurt you too. Our full chat is on our website, and don't forget, we have pregame coverage starting at 11 a.m. on NBC Sports Bay Area, then postgame coverage immediately following the big game. I'm so pumped. All right, everyone, that's all I've got for you today. Have a wonderful weekend.